Let me tune in. Thank you for letting me tune in. This is the Coronado Ortega Hair Show, the owner, the owner of reality. I own. Ozzy Osbourne sold his soul to the Lord Jesus, and now he's not the owner of reality anymore. He's too busy trying to kiss Cheryl, Cheryl Osbourne in the mouth and re renew his vows of holy matrimony to the Lord. So therefore, I have to take Ozzy Osbourne's place and the Blue Sabbath while he's busy doing the work of the Lord and kiss, kissing Cheryl Osbourne where the sun don't shine. And now me and the Blue Sabbath, we control reality. And now that you know that, oh man, I have to speak up for you because you can't speak up for yourself. You too busy with your nose in Cheryl Osborne's place. Jerk. Whatever happened to you? What happened to the good old days? When you was real, real rebel. Now you're a goody two shoes. You're a sucker for love. That's what you are. Trying to renew your vows. You're up there shaking like Elvis at a Las Vegas crap table with like with two dollars left to his name. Shaking like nobody's business. Come on, shake him, shake him, shake him. Come on, come on, shake him, let him, let him. Shaking like a bat out of hell out of ice cold skinny dipping in goddamn freezing temperature with ice cubes in it. Shaking like you got an all timer dementia and muscular scoroso. Ozzy, hell and got into you. Talking about you ready to renew your vows. But hell and got, let me tell you. Has Jehovah knocked at your door and put a fruit roll up where the sun don't shine? I tell you, Isaac. I used to depend on y'all. Don't even play your music no more. I used to listen to your music. I don't even listen to that shit. When I seen you and Whoopi Goldberg and Cheryl Osbourne renewing your vows, I'm like man, what the hell going on this level? But nevertheless, like I am back to what I was saying. A lot of you guys, you know, you you. Your woman is a lesbian, you know what I'm saying? You know, you found out the hard way. You know, when you was drinking a mystic. No, I'm not I'm not talking about the temperature when water freezes. No. At at the at the shrine where you selling pistols and playing bingo. No! Your woman is Miss Stick. And she got a collapsible poo stick in the pants. Man. And she sleep. She sleeps on the kickstand, baby. Man, that thing can hold a Harley Davidson up, baby. She got a long pogo stick in them panties. And you sleep with her. Man. And you got to give her a shave every seven days like you give yourself a shave. She tell you to get your clippers and go for a goat tea. Man, 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 man. And that's one thing you don't share with the fella. That you got to give your woman a shave. And get them hairs off of chinny chin chin, baby. Miss Stick. Not the fruit juice, baby. Not the fruit juice. Got a little testosterone in that bloodstream. Got a little head of the household, baby. <laughs> you like Justin Timberlake. She's bringing Miss Stick back. Bringing Mystic back. She's bringing Mystic back. Mm, baby, that ain't no flick I want to see. Give me a shave so we get in the sheets. Shave my chin so we can get naked. Oh no. I'm trying to get the hell on. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to change my name of, to a dis. Uh, damn, Machiavelli. I changed my name. I died to death. I don't know you. I never met you before. I, I, give me a shave so we can get butt naked and, and bang in between them sheets. Man. You see what I'm saying, Lane? That'll be our little secret, cowboy. You know what I'm saying? Because you rode, baby. Baby, you rode that little lamb with the horn. That's what you did. My brother. <laughs> Ow! Ow! My brother from another mother. 
You rode that land with them horns on it, don't they? You rode it to the sun don't shine, man. Boy, you got a stab wound, baby, like Exit Wounds in DMX movie. Boy, you got a stab wound that won't quit, baby. Let them know, goddamn, you branded for life, baby. You rode that land with them horns on it, baby. Thing was bucking like a bull, goddamn, at the Southeast Rodeo, too. Nevertheless, like, you know. But nevertheless, goddamn, you put a ring on it. You and Mystic, mm, baby. Miss Stick. Ooh, baby. I bet she'll be a hell of a parole officer. Your wife, baby. I bet she'll be a hell of a martial arts teacher, goddamn. <laughs> he shut Jerry Hessler down, baby. He shut down Jerry, like, yeah. What's that man that do muscular dystrophy and singing for the chair? Jerry Lewis? He put Jerry Lewis out of business. He's, he ain't nothing to play with, baby, I'm trying to tell you. Now he's a kind of commissioner. Now he counting your money, like, yeah. He done made so much money at Easy Money, now he's the county commissioner. The real Eric Wright, like him. You think it's a game, that that man ain't dead, like him. He ain't dead, like him. He just said, rapping's, rapping's for bitches. I'm here to make real money. Rapping's for bitches and gangbangers. I wanna count some real money. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, we're taking, we're giving the students a few weeks out of school because we're doing a practice drill. If the queen said she didn't want nobody to know that she was around no more, this is why we're taking off right now. If Queen Elizabeth tells Harry and, and, and William, tell them bastards I'm not here no more. See what they do. Now we gonna, what I'm here to do, you know, I'm a LAMP graduate. I, I graduated, I left this place with college credits. I went to LAMP. I was a smart ass Negro, like, it's a smart little nigga, like me. I went to the University of Alabama. And they prepped me for this mature, I'm a Manchurian candidate. I made it all the way to the White House. I did, I did what I was supposed to do. I did it way before they thought I was gonna be able to do it. And I'm gonna tell you why you've been chosen to, to be out of school. Because we need some students to say, I've done research on Queen Elizabeth, and she's the most eloquent, Beneficent, benevolent, most beautiful woman that ever lived. And I have the research to prove it. Somebody that can just talk about her and talk about her. You know, that's what you're supposed to be doing. Because believe it or not, they're doing a the drill. If the queen, if something happened to the queen, this would happen. The stock market would lose 10% of its value in one day. Stuff like that, like, yeah. There'll be an epidemic and a pandemic that'll wipe myriads of people out. You know what I'm saying? School people, school people wouldn't go to school. People wouldn't go to spring break. The NBA was shut down. There wouldn't be no March Madness. That's what they're preparing you for. They're preparing you for it. You know what I'm saying? I'll tell you why you're out of school, do research. You know what I'm saying? Research the lady. See who she is. You know what I'm saying? Because there's nobody around here. Not Michael Jordan. Nobody laying like down. Nick Saban, there ain't nobody that can measure up to that lady. Nobody. So, why you out of school and you ain't doing shit? You can do some research and you can know about it. Cause that's what's gonna be going on. You know what I'm saying? Even if she she make it to 116, I think she is. I think she gonna be around till she 116, honestly. But just in case she wanna see how would it be if she just pulled a Machiavelli to see what these bastards would say about her? You know, this is your chance to be famous. They say there was some child over there at Booker T or Lamp gave the most beautiful speech about Queen Elizabeth. I never thought somebody could speak that eloquently and beautifully. But that what you're supposed to be doing while you're on break. You know, you're supposed to be saying, damn, I could have been a royal family member, you know what I'm mean? saying? And if I was a royal family member and something happened to me, would anybody in Montgomery speak up for me and say, well, damn, you're not forgotten. You were quiet. You just waved at people. But you meant this to us. You meant everything to us. How would you put it into literature? How would you speak about it? Even though I'm a 76 baby, you know, I'm a... I'm a 70s, I'm a Declaration of Independence baby, 
But I went back to the crown and I, you know what I'm saying? I put my royal oats down and I got children over there, you know what I'm saying? I got real kids that's lined up to be kings and queens in every tribe and every tongue and every nation, not just the UK. I'm talking about all over there, Middle East, Arabia, they, they lined up. It's really for the same thing though, it's the same. It's really the same house, but it's broken down into different providences and stuff, it's the house of the lords. Like, a lot of y'all don't know, the Valley of the Kings, house of the lords, it's a dominion that's very hard to speak on it, you know what I mean? But nevertheless, let's get back to it. If you was up to bat, you know what I'm saying? And if you could do a grand slam, and they was like, this motherfucker like Alice Rodriguez. This motherfucker like Andrew Scalaraga. This motherfucker like Bear Buns. We taking you to the hall, baby. You going to the hall of fame. Just from your athleticism, you gonna be able to put your elbow next to the king, the queen, the princess, the, the ladies, all the duchess. You can, you can date any duchess that you want to date. If you get her pregnant, so the fuck what? Guys, well, you in the hall, you in the hall of fame. You in the same echelon of imperialism with them because of your ac academic and athletic achievements and the amount of money that you made as a youth. So I like you cheering out there. You ain't doing nothing no way. Put Facebook down. Put the damn Instagram down. Come up with something besides Marco's garbage ass pizza, like, and Gigi's garbage ass cupcakes. Let's come up with something, like, yeah. I know you get tired of that dude pulling up in that little truck with that target on it, sign ops from Marco's pizza. We got to do something besides the same old thing. Come up with something that'll make Queen the Queen smile. You know what I'm saying? They say that it's not that bad. That that is a beautiful, that was a beautiful speech. I thought that they forgot about me. You know what I mean? Because the queen's still making babies, believe it or not. She still have a few pearls left, and she's still nurturing children with surrogates. It's pretty sick, lady, I ain't gonna lie. But you gotta, you know, the older and wiser you get, you gotta be able to deal with stuff like that. You gotta be able to go in there with them cancer patients, rip the cancer out of their ass, uh, sew them up together and like, slap them on their ass like they hit a through. Now get back out there and be somebody. You rip the cancer out of their colon, about them get some stitches and sew their ass up. Get your ass up, put the anesthesia, wake them up, slap them on the ass. Now let's get it.